Hi guys, it's been a little bit since I have done a cooking video, so I'm going to do a cooking video with you today. So the first thing I want you to know is I have the week off. I am having surgery tomorrow on my hand, and I still have some vegetables to process from the 70-pound um, co-op where we get our vegetables from. So um, one of the things that I am doing right now, I'm going to show you, is this little bugger. So this is some kind of a squash, zucchini. It, they call it gray squash. Some people call it chayote, and some people call it Mexican squash. It's not like regular squash. So I'm having, we're battling. We're having it out. We're having a, we're just fighting, okay? Me and this squash. So here's the first thing I tried to do with it. The first thing I tried to do with it was I took two of them, uh, yeah, two of them, and I hollowed them out and I cooked them for half an hour in the oven with salt and pepper. Then I took them out and I filled them with taco meat. And I cooked them for another 35 minutes. And when we went to go eat them, they were hard as a rock. <laughs> so uh, that didn't work. So then I thought, well, I love eggplant parmesan. How about I make zucchini parmesan? Again, in my head thinking this is a zucchini. So I made some slices this morning before I went to the doctors and I put them in the oven for half an hour with some oil, salt, and pepper, and they turned to mush. So I'm like, okay, <laughs> now what? Well, I still had so many left over. So um, I decided to slice them like this and I'm gonna fry them in oil with uh, breading. So I'm going to make a zucchini lasagna, God willing. And um, I wanna show you how I do my breading and all that. So the first thing I did was I took this, washed it. I did take the skin off it because I'm thinking the skin is where I'm going wrong with it. I'm thinking the skin is just too hard. So, I took the skin off of it, I skinned them all, and then I gave them like a quarter of an inch, okay? Now, mind you, after I fried, bread them and fry them, they're gonna go back in the oven like a casserole, so they're gonna still cook, so I'm thinking this is probably the best idea. Now, I'm probably gonna make three small containers of it. So one for dinner tonight, and then the other two I'll bake and then freeze them if everything turns out right. If everything doesn't turn out right, then we're just gonna have lasagna with sauce and cheese. I don't know. There is one more recipe I wanna try with it, but I'm just not into failure today, <laughs> just not. So let me show you what I'm doing. I'm gonna take you for a little bit of a ride. So close your eyes for a second. So I'm a very big person about having everything in place, okay? Especially when it comes to this. So I've got my cast iron kettle going with oil in it. I've got my breadcrumbs, Italian style. I've got my egg wash and I've got my flour. And if you look underneath, I have a piece of foil that kind of goes up over the edge of my stove. That's so that I don't have to just spend a lot of time cleaning up the stove. So uh, as soon as this oil gets hot enough, I will show you how I do one or two pieces. And you're also gonna notice that I use paper plates for the breadcrumbs and the flour. That gets to be very messy. And when you go to try and wash that a, a bowl in your sink, it's really, it clops up, it's just, it's just not nice. So I always use a paper plate because there's gonna be, um, it's gonna get messy and this paper plate I can just throw out and they're cheap plates and they're paper and they're biodegradable and that's all I have to say about that. So I'm using like a canola oil um, for this. Probably not the best thing, but it's the cheapest thing right now. All right, so as soon as this oil gets hot, I will continue. Okay, so I think my oil is getting hot enough. What I did was I put a little drop of egg wash in it and flew it right to the top. So let me show you how I do this. Now the zucchini are a little sticky, right? So they're gonna go into the flour first. Then they go into the egg wash. And you gotta make sure that the wash gets all around it. Then it goes into the breadcrumbs. Make sure yours are coated well. And then they go into the oil, always away from you. Okay, 
Looks pretty good. Just try another one. Get the boom down there, Christine. So you see how I say that it gets messy? to get that egg wash on there, I'm telling you. But it's important. Okay. Another, please. I'm not so concerned about the size getting the flower. I'm more concerned about the top and the bottom. And I want to make sure I coat it good, but come on. Okay, so far they look all right. So we'll see what happens. Again, this is a really tough squash. Now, I have some Hispanic friends who I asked about the squash, and they basically said that their parents made like this kind of like a soup, chicken soup stew, in which they, um, they, um, they just kind of boiled it in chicken broth, and then they would have it on a cool, on a hot summer day, and they said it was a very refreshing kind of soup. So basically, they boiled the heck out of it. Okay, I'm gonna wash my hands, and I'm gonna show you what's next. Okay, so these guys are boiling pretty good. Now I want you to take notice of this one right here. See how it's just starting to get brown on the edges? That one's ready to go. So all I'm gonna do is flip it. This one is the same. And I'm feeling as I put my fork into it, it's still a little hard. I'm really hoping that the prime and the baking will soften that up. This one is next. And these guys I just kind of threw in there so we can let them stay. Yeah, he looks like a And actually, it looks like it's getting a little too brown too quick. I'm just going to turn my heat down just a little bit. Okay, so there they are. Now, what I will do is as they finish, I have a pan here with a brown bag on it. And so I will put them right on this pan so they can drain. And they won't be so greasy. Well, they look good. They look really good. Let's just hope they soften up. Oh, squash is making me crazy. All right. So I'm going to put you guys on hold until I'm ready for my next step. Okay. So my zucchini is still cooking but I wanted to show you a couple things. So I'm gonna get ready to put this all together. I didn't take the cheese out because it's in the refrigerator. One of the things I always have in my kitchen are these. I get them at the dollar shop. You get three pack, three in a pack for a dollar or a dollar 25, whatever it is. Here's why I always have those in my house. First of all, if I have friends over and I've made a lot to eat and they enjoyed the meal, I can give them some to go home great at Thanksgiving time to make little packages as you're putting the food away. Fabulous idea. Second of all, I'm going to cook right in there and then freeze right from there. So that's how um, on the one side is white. So you, I usually put the foil size down and on here is where I write what it is and when I made it. Second thing, I have a jar of tomato sauce I made about two weeks ago. I also have a half jar left over in the refrigerator that I will use, my water bottle. And these are oven ready lasagna. Listen, I'm not gonna tell you I don't cheat. I cheat, I do, time's precious. So if you've never used these, <clears throat> you do not have to pre-cook these. And that might freak some of you out, but here's the thing. What you do have to do though, is make sure there's enough liquid in your pan when you go to bake it that 
you're gonna account for these noodles sucking up that liquid. Basically what these are cooked noodles that are dehydrated. That's really all they are. And so by you putting them in your casserole, whatever you happen to do with them, it's gonna need extra liquid. So what I will do is I'm gonna take these two sauces, put them together and add a little bit more water to it, okay? It's not gonna be watered down because those noodles are gonna suck it up. And then I'll get the cheese out. And as soon as I get ready to put it together, I'll show you how it goes, okay? So I still have some zucchini frying, but I'm gonna show you how to put one of these together and then I'll do the rest and you guys can go rest. So I put my two sauces in the bowl. I added a little bit of water. So this is a little bit watery. Okay, got my noodles. I've got my mozzarella, low moisture, I've got some Parmesan, and there are my zucchini. They look good. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to add some sauce to the bottom. Okay. Now, remember, these are pre-cooked and they're just dehydrated, so they will expand. So one is plenty in there. Again, more sauce. And now I'm gonna take my zucchini and I'm gonna fill the pan with the zucchini just like that. Sorry, I'm really bad at filming. And that's why my videos are probably crappy. Okay, so I've got six in there. Beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna add some more tomato sauce. Remember, I made this tomato sauce from scratch, so it might look a little lumpy to you because I used whole tomatoes. Now I'm gonna take some mozzarella and sprinkle it in there. All in there, just like that. Okay, ready? Next noodle. Again, I'm always gonna bathe it in sauce so it starts sucking that up. <clears throat> Zucchini. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now at this point, I'm gonna put sauce on it. Okay, I'm gonna put cheese on it, a little bit of cheese. I'm gonna put another noodle on it. I'm gonna put sauce over that. And I'm gonna add some Parmigiani cheese to the top and more mozzarella cheese. Now here's the part that is going to be kind of weird for you. Now I need to fill up the sides so that this sauce can reach the top. Because remember, those noodles are going to suck all that sauce up. And it will not be watery. I know that people think that, but it's not going to be watery. And I have plenty of sauce, so don't worry. I can always get more. Okay, I'm going to give it a little shake. And that will be it. So, when this goes in the oven... I'll probably put a piece of foil over the top just so it can kind of steam a little bit. Take the foil off, add a little bit more cheese right at the end, and it'll be done. Now, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I've got a lot to go here, so I'm going to let you go. And at the very end, I'll show you my quick cleanup trick. I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Okay. I, so here's the fun part. I'm still cooking, but I'm done with the zucchini. So let me show you what happens now. Paper plate, paper plate, paper plate, foil, foil, the fork's got to go on the foil, and then everything comes over to the trash, and done, look how easy that was. And now all I have is a little bit of sprinkling of flour that I will clean up.
little bit of breadcrumbs that got out. And look how easy. That was three bowls that I did not have to wash. And I'm thrilled with that.